was stung hundreds of times. It's all about killer bees attacking Toronto. There was an index card that had been on the wall of the Murdoch writer's room for something like six years, and it just said, Queen Bee Killer. Pete Mitchell, our showrunner, said to me, oh, we've been trying to crack that for years, and we just couldn't do it. What a way to go, bees. And I thought, okay, challenge accepted. Well, we have not done that before. What causes bees to attack en masse? Me, that keeps it fresh, keeps it exciting. The whole script is filled with Bee puns. Mr. Winged Sheen. Mrs. Prospinsky. The Sweet. Beesbrook. Leonard Beesbrook. It's much easier to clear names if they're a little bit strange. The more relevant reason is that I wanted all of the names to either sound like the buzzing of bees or to be bee related. We have a ton of really exciting guest stars, so that's exciting as usual. We cast a man named Dan Shamroy as the author Anthony Winged Sheen. That stings, I'll admit it. He came in and just he upped everyone's game. Anthony Winged Sheen is no more. I'm, I'm just a prisoner number now. It was so much fun to do and even felt like a little bit of a departure from regular Murdoch itself. It's been really fun to let Higgins kind of shine. He steps forward and plays a really big part in this episode. I think I'm having an idea. You, the world's gone topsy bloody turvy. He's afraid of bees, so he's wearing a beekeeper costume. Very funny. So by the time he swats Detective Murdoch on his bottom, I have to hope that we're off to the races. And then our final climax, the set that our production designer and set decorator and props buyer built was 360 degrees extraordinary. And Murdoch uses a very ingenious way to capture the killer. They'll be lining up to study bees now. Murdoch Mysteries, all new episode, every Saturday at 7 on Ovation.